I'm Amanda Mackay. Uh, I'm the Quality Director for Balfour Beatty Major Projects. I'm also the lead on nuclear quality within the business. Most of my career, until about five years ago, no. And I, I transitioned five years ago. And one of my greatest fears was that in transitioning, I would basically put myself off the jobs market and my career would either stagnate or end. And that had been the, um, I think the, many of the other members of the trans community I'd spoken to at that time had found that they either became self-employed or they went and became consultants or they went into a lesser job. And I wasn't prepared to do that. I mean, I enjoy what I, I do, the sector that I work in, but I did find that I found a glass ceiling which I'd never ever encountered before. Uh, and that wasn't just because I was trans, I think that was because I was female. Um, that really shocked me because it was something that I never ever expected. Um, moving to Balfour Beatty, we, it was never any part of that career discussion, that, that recruitment discussion, it never came up. And I found that um, the move there was really, really good, very positive. In between that, I'd had a number of uh, job interviews with other organisations and that was really difficult. Uh, I had a CV which I'd never failed to get a, at least an interview. And out of um, 20 jobs I've applied for in my life, um, I've got 15 of them, which I think is a pretty good strike rate. And all of a sudden my CV didn't open doors interviews were more of a curiosity pitch from some recruitment organizations that was really really challenging and so my worst fears were coming true and on joining Balfour BT I found that a completely different attitude they wrote, recruited me for my skill set and for what I brought to the company which is what you recruit a candidate for not because of any diverse characteristics and that was a real eye-opener for me. I think w one of the key things for me is about, leadership is very much about serving others. It's not about being the boss and, and telling everybody what to do. It's about leading a team and making that team perform well. And to make a team perform well, they've got to be uh, looked after. So for something that the military taught me, uh, I spent 15 years with the TA and 22 years as a special constable, and both in senior positions, was that you put your, your people first. They get fed first, they get looked after first, they sleep first, they do everything before you do. Because at the end of the day, you can't perform without them. And I take that attitude with my own team. And with, I've worked for some previous managers where they were very, very good and they did that, but I've worked for a lot who were only there for themselves and good leaders look after their team and it's their team that's important, not themselves. Really what it means is that everybody has a say, everybody is treated equally in an organisation. It doesn't matter who they are, where they come from, how they identify, they are part of the team and treated as another member of the team. Um, I do find that you know, we have affinity networks for LGBT, uh, gender, for um, ability and BME. They actually make things worse from my perspective because they become a little group of, of individuals that stand out because they're not as inclusive. Because if you're not part of that group, you're not part of that group. And I would rather that we didn't have those. We had one large pot of people and that we're all treated the same. And that's rather interesting, it very much depends upon the sector that I'm working in. Um, most of my work at the moment is around nuclear new build, of which there's really only one project in the UK. If it gains um, a little bit more traction and the other projects start, then I see myself as leading a larger team doing what I'm doing now, probably on multiple new build projects. Um, if it doesn't, um, I think we'll be moving back towards our um, core work around decommissioning uh, nuclear projects. But I also now look after Balfour Beatty's tunnelling projects and our HS2 work as well. 
So I've got a number of strands. Uh, I'm not just doing nuclear as I did when I started with Alpha BT. Um, HST will be an interesting project, um, as will be some of the tunneling ones. We're working on the Thames Tideway project in London, which is currently a television show on BBC Two uh, about the early years. Um, that's been very, very challenging, very interesting work.